everybody is born different. Some are born perfectly healthy and remain healthy for the rest of their lives. Some are born with certain neuromuscular disorders, while some may develop degenerative disorders. Stem cells have tremendous promise to help us understand and treat a range of diseases, injuries and other health-related conditions. Their potential is evident in the use of blood stem cells to treat diseases of the blood, a therapy that has saved the lives of thousands of children with leukemia, and can be seen in the use of stem cells for tissue grafts to treat diseases or injury to the bone, skin and surface of the eye. Important clinical trials involving stem cells are underway for many other conditions, and researchers continue to explore new avenues using stem cells in medicine. Christopher Boson had a car wreck in Bakersfield, California. He broke his neck and wound up in Los Angeles at National Rehabilitation Center, which is collaborating with the USC Medical Center. Boson fit the criteria and was recruited to participate in the trial. Christopher had 10 million cells injected into his spinal cord at around two weeks post-injury. These particular cells are called AST-OPC1. These cells are derived from human embryonic stem cells, but allowed to evolve towards becoming nerve support cells. In animals, they've demonstrated the following. Potentially reparative functions that address the complex pathologies observed at the injury of the spinal cord injury. Charles Liu, director of the USC Neurorestoration Center, said the following. The spinal cord of Christopher's would typically be treated with surgery to stabilize the spine, but this generally does little to restore motor or sensory function. But a new procedure is being trialed and it's looking promising. With this study, we are testing a procedure that may improve neurological function, which could mean the difference between being permanently paralyzed and being able to use one arms and hands. Incredibly, after going through with this procedure, Christopher started to show signs of movement and three months later he was able to feed himself, use his mobile phone, write his name and hug his friends and family. At present, conventional treatment for many of these disorders aren't very effective. However, stem cell therapy has been showing a lot of promising results all over the world. This is possibly due to the amazing and unique features of stem cells. The treatment is safe, speedy and often completed within a day or two. Yet the results are far better than the long and ineffective conventional therapies. Stem cell therapy is still in its early stages, but it's procedures like this that show us there's a huge potential in this type of treatment. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.